from the haunted house. You know, people asked us to talk about the history of this place. That's as yeah. That's all we know. That's all we got. This is a park. Uh, well, I was going to say this is a house. <laughs> this, this is a is house. Not a park. <laughs> this is a park. This is a house within a park. Yes. I think they do art stuff here. They do arts and craft. Yeah. I don't think anybody lives there. But just imagine if it was blackwashed, it would look really haunted and scary. Blackwash. Totally knife video ready. Yes. Uh, it's black stone wash. Yeah, that would be scary. It would be. But obviously haunted though. Of course. Yeah. It's a given. All right. You guys saw the title. We've got a steel wheel. Brand new. I think it's new for 2020. I'm just waiting for you to say the name. Frankie. It's the F73. We were just talking about that in the car. It's the Screamer. Ah! You're going to do that every yes. time I say Screamer. Ah! Yeah, what do you guys think? It's a liner lock, G10, D2. So, like a lot of the steel wheel knives. Jeez, you got goo all over it. I was gonna say it fits in the price of quite a few of the steel wheel knives. What yeah, is the does. price exactly? Sixty-three ninety-nine. Sixty-three ninety-nine, uh -huh. and that's for any of the three varieties. A three varietai. Yeah. Should we just say them real quick because well, there's not a ton. I was gonna say this is definitely the most plain of the three. There's also a but blue G10. Even then you get a blue backspacer. Okay, go ahead. Okay, let me explain. Yeah, go ahead. Blue G10, red backspacer. Yeah. Or also black G10, red backspacer, and black stonewash finish. That one's pretty cool. It's like double murdered out with blood. Yeah, we should have got that one. Yes, we kinda, should have. Kind of morbid. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, for $63.99. What do you guys think? D2. And yes, F-73. Frankie was saying the F-73 Screamer, that should be a fighter plane. It doesn't, it doesn't it sound like it should be a really aggressive fighter plane? A little bit, but I think we're only at F-22 right now, so well, this, this would be very futuristic. Futuristic. Yeah, let's talk about a knife, though. Okay, let's do it. It is, what's the blade length, 3.5 about? 3.25, you like to round up when okay. you're measuring things. Three. You know that. Yes. That's the rule, you guys. <laughs> 3.25 inch blade. It is a little taller, though. Yes. Technically a drop point? Drop point, clip point, modified poon. You know, the huge. Nice. <laughs> that all, the, that think, old, the chestnuts. What chestnuts? is the saying? That old chestnut? That old chestnut. I was going to say it's almost a reverse tanto <laughs> as well. It's constant, constant curve, constant belly, I guess you could say, with a finger twirl? Yes. Pretty much. Kind of. Yeah. This would be a nice, easy sharpening project. Well, why don't you do it? Because I, I could <laughs> I could sharpen all of our knives, and then that would just be all I ever do. That would be an interesting and I would, job. And I would never finish. Nope. There you go. There's the liner. Stay, stainless steel liners in there. Yeah. Let's see if we can kind of see that. So, without taking it apart, they didn't put the steel all the way through the G10. Yeah. There's a slot through, too. Yeah, in addition to that... Uh, they minimize the steel inside there that will reduce weight a little bit. There mm -hmm. you can kind of see it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it just like a little bit right there. Yeah. And then on the liner side. So it's mostly G10, but then there's some steel to back it up. So mm -hmm. kind of best of both worlds Well, there. and they lighten it with the slot through the finish. Yeah, let's talk about that. It's let's an talk air about hole. The slot. Is it a speed hole? <laughs> Frankie, you were saying. Oh, yes, I was saying this. Go ahead. It's kind of yin and yang type modeling with the ying and the yang is it ying ying and yang that was yin oh yin never mind that's something else yeah yeah no yes. what, what she says <laughs> yeah i do like that look it does it just gives it a neat like just a little extra to it and then there's a cutout in the blade that's similar right mm -hmm. but in addition to aesthetically pleasing yes functional yeah as it's a finger flicker finger flicker it is a flipper but you get this option as well, and it flicks very nicely. Yeah, I think. Put you on the spot. I think I can actually do it. Yeah, I can. Nice. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say with this particular model. Yes. Here, safety first. Yeah. With this particular model, it's got a a softer detent. Yes. Let me see if I can shake it out here. Yeah. It's, yeah, you can. It's on the softer side. It's not ultra soft but that being said it does make it so you can finger flick it a lot easier yeah but let us know guys also this one's seen um a decent amount of cardboard use and a lot of flicking 
so it's to the point where there is a little bit of blade play right Have now. Have you well, been check. sitting there flinking? Oh yeah, there is a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You just need to tighten it up. It a didn't. Bit. It didn't come that way. I was going to say so that might help the 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 detent feel. I, I like how this is um, angled in, so it's a little bit softer too. Oh yeah. So what's the word for that? It's like a um, mm, a cavern. It's like a trench. Trench. <laughs> trench. It's not even like a trench. It's a. I like my. It goes like this. The cut. It's not a chamfer. It's not a bevel. It's like a. God, I can't think of the word. It's the same thing here. <laughs> yeah, you're you're describing it with your hands. But anyway, it makes it soft. It makes it nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's a fun knife to fidget with. Well, and that th that being said about steel wheels, yes, there's a lot in that price point for sixty three, say fifty to seventy five dollar range. Sure. For steel wheel, you just get a little bit more finesse to it, so you get like that aluminum backspacer with a, a pop of color, pop every of color, pop of color, and then a little angle on all of it. It just has a little bit more yeah. finish to it. So that would be like a bevel or yeah. a chamfer. Yeah, I use those interchangeably. Mm -hmm. I know they're different. Don't correct me. <laughs> there is not jimping on the tab, but you don't need it. No, you don't. Somebody was saying that light switch and push button are the same thing. No, <laughs> no. Push button is push button. Light switch, light switch is light switch. They're two different push, things. Light. Yeah, yeah. Push, light, push, light. What is that, T6 on the hardware there? You have like table what? on your finger. Oh, it's, I'm touching the table. <laughs> There's the um, the show side of the pivot. It's clean there with what looks like a T8. Yeah. It's on bearings. Wait, I'm pretty sure it's on no, bearings. No, it's not. We need to take that one it's apart. It's on plastic washers. How do you know it's not caged bearings? Because I can see the plastic in there. All right, we'll put it in notes here if, <laughs> if, uh, if we can find out. It's right or left hand carry. We didn't bring the box, did we? No, we didn't. It's a basic steel wheel box. Well, the reason why is because I was going to tell you, it comes with an actual lefty carry clip. You're right, and I just touched the table. I'm sure this is Yes, jeez. We, <laughs> we should have brought the box because, yes, there is an extra clip with this. That goes angled with the body of the handle. Because you were mentioning if you went to swap the clip, it would not work. It wouldn't look right. Mm -mm. You could mount this one, but it would face that way. <laughs> you have the clip hanging off? I don't know. Dork. Yeah. But it comes with one that angles perfectly, so just mirror it the other way. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'd be stupid if you put both clips on and just left them on, like both clips. Be like, oh, yeah. It's ambidextrous. Yeah, now it's ambidextrous. <laughs> yeah. So you can see, very comfortable in hand. No hot spots here. Excel hands. Let me just show them. I want to see something I'm real quick. Say, the butt end of the knife. There's, I can't quite reach it there. And yeah, I mean, no. The butt end. No, no hot spots. You get up here a little bit of a ramp with some jimping. That is functional. Mm -hmm. It's a stabby kind of knife. He is stabby. Gives you some forward guard to it. I like the look of him too because it really gives him personality with this little bit of an eye right here with yeah. the wedge on yeah. his poon right it's here. A, it's a cool blade. Yeah, it is. Actually. What'd you carry today? I've been carrying this one all morning. What'd you carry today? It's okay. So the Kobold, mm -hmm. we talked about this one a couple of months ago. This is like his and hers version. It's almost like if you elongated a Kobold, you sort of get this knife, don't you? A little bit. There's some similarities. He's quite chunky though. I was going to say the cutout here, a little sharp in comparison. Yes. This one is a little sharp. Yeah. I was on catching myself too. on um, the, actually the flipper tab. It's a little sharp too. Yeah. I went and well, grabbed it in my pocket today. And there's the backspacer, the aluminum backspacer. I love that they're doing the papa color. Oops. Papa. See, push button. There you go. I like that. He's just um, cute. But anyway, kind of similar, right? Yeah, let's I get forget, out some other. I forget the exact price on those, but I a, little, too. a little less. Okay, what else we got? Well, what else do you have? I, I have. I got the biggest steel wheel. Oh, wait. In a folder. Okay. The Plague Doctor, that the is Plague monstrous. Doctor. That thing's awesome. But that's what the finish would be for the other black red. So the black wash. Black, well, black on black. Blade. Yeah. Black on black. This one's totally murdered out though. Chow. This one would have the red. Yeah. What else you got? Here's the laner. Here's another black on black. Laner's kind of cool. I don't think I like it as much as I should have in the video. It's well, cool. And it's just a good basic knife. Yeah. You know, this would be a knife that you could give to anybody and they'd be like, sweet. Sure. It's a cool knife. And actually you should do that. Yep. People in your life that you think might catch the addiction, you should give them a knife. Okay, here's the actual color combo of the other. It's 
barrel spacers instead of a back spacer. Oh, right. But black on red. What's this one? That's the Gina. I don't leave home without the Gina. We were having Any that conversation. Day. Never? Okay. <laughs> Never ever. It comes with me wherever I go. <laughs> don't get too specific. There's the Gina. All right. I mean, and that's the name, though. Yeah, it is. We just brought all steel wheels today. Yeah, we did. So this is the Arcturus. This is a cool knife. It is cool. I like those colors. I mean, it's it's tactical colors, but it's cool. Okay, we'll put the little ones over there. We'll put that one. Yeah, this one's there. definitely on the bigger side. Yeah. All of these are going to be priced. I think most of what we've shown here are going to be priced in the fifty to eighty sum. Yeah, that's what a lot of steel wheels do. They have that price point. That's well, the, and then you go and bring a more budget Ex one. Exception. Except. Cut jacks. Yes. You could get these for well, easily less than fifty. I want to say less than forty at some time. At but some they're the points. more basic plastic handle. FRN. FRN. Or GFN. I forget which uh, one. I don't know. Okay. Um. Here's the chatbot. Go ahead. Okay. You shouldn't have the chatbot. I should have that over here. It's a that, great boy knife. That's probably my favorite steel wheel right now for EDC. I really like the chatbot. It is cool. And I want to say this. I think it's still on sale. But at Blade HQ, this exact model was on sale. Black that. stone wash and green handle All for right, like cool. fifty something dollars. Let's see our video on that. I really like it, and I've I've gotten to like it even more since the video. You actually, bonded with him more. Yeah, I'll show you Me as well. If you've not seen it, push button. Okay, here's the steel wheel intrigue with the GFN handle also. Yeah, those are nice. That one, speaking of D two, has rusted on us. Um, we went back, we had neglected it, and we went back, and it was just a little uh, little rusty. Mm -hmm. But that's D2 for you. Yeah, it, did. it is. Thumbs up, Everybody guys. loves D2. Thumbs up. For some no. reason. It, the reason is edge retention. You I know. know, but still. Well, we get new people every, all know. the time. You shouldn't avoid D2. Okay, just know here's that it the modus, rust. which is good. Modus operandi. Okay. <laughs> here's the apostate. It's kind of a cool knife, too. It sounds like you should be getting an apostate exam. Apostate exam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know somebody that just got one. I forgot to ask him about it. <laughs> How was your prostate exam? <laughs> See, I don't know him that well, you know, but I kind of want to, yeah. But you could get to know him really well, really yeah. fast. <laughs> well, yeah. Here's the Shaula. Oh, nice. Shaula. Did we do a video on this? I thought we had, but maybe not. Why does this remind me of a Civivi? I'm not sure. It's the color. And the action. Yeah. It, it, the action, we've not talked about a whole lot on these knives, is excellent. But well, the blue that's in for this one looks darker than this color. This is more of a periwinkle. Oh, is it? Periwinkle. It's a technical term. Periwinkle. Yeah. I, I would say combine these two colors and you'll get the blue. Most of these are going to be liner locks. Yeah. What steel wheels do you have? Which Let is your favorite? Let us know in comment. Yeah, which, which one is your favorite? Which one do you want the most? Let's go like that. Ooh, nice. Yeah. I think that's all of our steel wheels. I think so. But oh no, we might have forgotten one or two. The subject here is the screamer. Ah! It's pretty cool. He's cool. He has good personality. Yeah, yeah. I, if I had to do it again, I would get the black and red. The yeah. black with red. I can see that, yes. Yeah. Should we just do a couple little stats real quick? Since it's the end of the video, oh, and people come end. here for, yeah. for stats well, on knives. If you're still here. Let's see how much he weighs. This is what everybody wants, right? Right. Hold your horses. Okay. okay. 4.75. So under 5 ounces. Okay, this is going to be a fun game. I just came up with it. You have to guess which knife is going to weigh the same amount. I don't or the want to go through all these. Okay, take your choice and then we'll... Of what knife is going to weigh the same? Yeah, the closest. The Arcturus. Wait, you can't weigh it yet. I need to get my guess. Actually, it feels a little 0. lighter. 0. 0.54. 0. 0.54 on the handle, handle thickness. thickness. So slightly thicker than average on on that. What's the blade stock? You got to do that real oh, quick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Since we're doing stats. 0. 0.14. So probably kind of average, maybe slightly on the thicker side. Okay, let's we'll see who wins for the day. Okay. You have to choose yours. Oh, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to go with the Gina. I always have to go. No what was it? Four point what? Yeah. Okay, one more time. 4.75. Okay, that's your guess. Was this that is the same as guess. before? I think okay, so. Okay, 4.75. Go okay. ahead. Your nose 4. is 3. down. So I didn't go over. 
Four point three. Oh, and Price is Right rules. I'm okay. I'm in it to win it. You're closer. God. You are um, a bit of a loser. So. Uh, oh, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this one's. Closer. I'm gonna force Frankie to go inside the haunted house after dark. Oh, I would do it. You know yeah. I would. With an O light, we'll have to go pick an O light. Uh -huh. Or. Yeah. <laughs> Most of our flashlights right now are all lights. Yep. Okay. Okay, you won. Steel wheel knives. The screamer. Which is your favorite? Which ones do you want? Frankie, the screamer. Ah! Ah! Oh, he had to do two. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Which one is my favorite right now? Uh -huh. This has got cool factor just because it's awesome. Um, yeah. The chatbot is my chat favorite. I, we really go back to the beginning and, and we really like the modus and the cut jack and of the course, intrigue. Yeah. But yeah, I, I kind of I don't really dislike any of them. I like the cutouts on this. It's yeah. just different. It's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like the little chap, uh, chap bold, a <laughs> kobold. Chat bold. Yeah. I like him a lot too. Chat boldly. Chat boldly. All right. His name's Chat. No, I think that's everything. Chat boldly. Make sure to subscribe if you got this far. And then you gotta hit the bell to get notifications. Well, did you guys see it? We're at Little Frankie's desk too. It's Little Frankie. Little. And no, we did not carp that. Nice. That's my hand. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye. Screamer. <laughs>